This is Mario with Mia Microflight, and in this video you are viewing the finished rudders and elevator sections of the MIA Quicksilver style radio control ultralight. Actually these are going to some of our customers, but I wanted to do this video so you can see the finished product and how these things look before we put them in bags and ship them ultimately to our customers. We have taken it upon ourselves to do these assemblies in-house so that it's easier for the customer to do the final assembly of the MIA Quicksilver Ultralight. In this section you can see the elevator and rudder before it was assembled with the hinging hardware. These uh, parts have been already fitted with the framework. They are ready for the hinging mechanisms that will be installed next. Okay, in this section of the video I am installing two plates. And these plates are designed to clamp the elevator framework. So the elevator is uh, composed of two main parts that form the frame. One of them is made out of aluminum, and the other one is made out of carbon. The carbon is the rod that supports the hinges. The plates, one upper and one lower, clamp two of the inner hinges, which are basically um, clips that allow the elevator to pivot on the stabilizer horizontal rods. You'll notice one bolt is longer than the other. It's your control board to which a clevis, which is also made with the similar parts that we're using for the rest of the hinges, becomes your uh, attachment point for the control link that comes from the elevator servo. Now, a lot of the parts that we are using here, nothing new. Many of these are parts that we have been using throughout our products since we established Mia Microflight back in uh, 2000. Here I'm just finishing it up with the two end hinges. And once that's done, this elevator, this horizontal stabilizer will be ready to be installed to the ultralight framework. In this section of the video, I am installing a brace for the horizontal stabilizer. It's the tension that a horizontal stabilizer front to back. That part not only holds the stabilizer in tension, but it also adds as a uh, center point for the rest of the boom assembly. The rear section of the brace is attached to a small horizontal tube that forms part of the boom support. That'll be done by the customer using the instructions that we supply when you purchase one of these kits. Okay, in this section I am installing two plates that are going to clamp the two P-clips that form part of the hinge mechanism. I'm installing one of the bolts that also become a control horn. This is the upper bolt, which is longer than the one that's going to be installed at the bottom. Basically, that's how the pivoting mechanism works. I'm using a carbon rod here to mimic the pivoting. Okay, and here we have the final kit. And you can see that we use a checklist to make sure that all items are checked and nothing is missed. So once again, this is Mario with Mia Microflight. If you would like to purchase one of these kits, please stop by www.micro-flight.com or you can email me direct at miadsgns.cox.net. Once again, thank you for watching.